Revelation chapter 20, verses 11 through 15. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Here we see the great white throne judgment. Great white throne depicting righteous and just and holy judgment from the Lord. Standing before this throne are not believers, for they stand before the judgment seat of Christ to receive rewards. This is the great white throne judgment for the punishment of the wicked. All the wicked from the annals of time will be resurrected simultaneously to stand before the great white throne judgment. These Individuals that die in their sins, unbelieving and rejecting Jesus Christ, go to a local place of torment to hold them called hell. Then they are resurrected to stand before the great white throne judgment for execution of sentence and then cast into the lake of fire. These individuals, once they have died in their sin, they remained in that state that they're in. Revelation chapter 22 verse 11 states, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. This is teaching that individuals standing before the great white throne judgment, have no opportunity to change, for they died in their sins, and they remain in their sin. These individuals, standing before the great white throne judgment, will have no debate before the Lord, no discussion before the Lord, no opportunity to plead their case. They are already found guilty. They're just here for execution of sentence. And on pronouncement of sentence, they will be cast into the lake of fire. Angels acting as God's bailiff in God's court will cast them into the lake of fire, for they will resist until the very last moment. These individuals will know all of the times they had to receive Christ and rejected it. These individuals will know deep down that they've been wrong in resisting the love of God and the opportunity for salvation in Jesus Christ. This tragedy does not have to happen For individuals can bow their knee and give their life to Christ and receive the love of God. For God has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. Scripture states in the book of Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 32, For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord. Wherefore turn yourselves and live. Thank you for listening to the teaching ministry of Life Changing Ministries International with Dr. E.K.D. Quick. For more information, log on to our website at lifechangingministries.com.